Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Katie here and I'm a bit disheveled because I just got home from work, bike home, biked home from work, uh, but I wanted to record a little video before I forget all of the details because we sadly just lost our first home auction because we're residents now woo! we are in the search of buying a house which is super exciting we owned our house in the states we would really love to own our home here i think there's just something about being able to put our money towards an investment in a home instead of renting if we can even uh if it's even possible uh we'll see how it goes but oh man the process of an auction it's just a whole new concept because in the States, we would always just like, you'd put in an offer in, you'd put in an offer on a house. And if you were the highest bid, uh, you would get it. And if you weren't, you didn't get it, which I guess is kind of the same as the auction. Uh, but in the States, it's not a live, like you're not in the room with the people and you're not like bidding against them. And you, the houses in the States, are listed for a price they don't do that here sometimes you can have like the capital value or the relatable value or uh you can get it we had it, this house valued uh by a valuation company but that does not mean that the house is going to go for that much money so uh we we're not using an agent. We are just going to houses on our own because in New Zealand, if you go to a house and you don't have an agent, but you get an agent later, you cannot use them to purchase that house or you can, uh, they just don't get commission because they weren't the ones that introduced you to the home or to the agent. The sun just came out behind the cloud. So I'm just gonna have big big old wrinkles in between but it's fine in between my eyes uh so yeah so we weren't using an agent but our lawyer uh who did our auction pack review uh was good friends with an agent that was in the same agency as the house that we were buying so this agent uh very very kindly offered to help us at auction so we found a house that we absolutely loved. We paid for a pre-auction review pack from the lawyers, and we also paid for a rush valuation to be done because we got our pre-approval from the bank, and then we had just six days before the auction in order to get the valuation done. And we had to get the valuation done before the auction otherwise we couldn't bid uh, those are the rules of the bank so spent a lot of money to basically vet this house and make sure that it is all good to go which i would always recommend i'd rather pay the money and make sure the house is good before you buy it because if you buy it and you don't do uh, the due diligence then you're stuck with a house that might have all these problems that you didn't know about so it's always worth it but of course sad here because we didn't end up with the house so coming to auction day i'm super super nervous uh keaton is at a work conference that he is helping uh out a lot with so he's not able to be there so i started a new job that week they very kindly let me uh go to the auction and got there and watched a few before hours and then uh, the agent that was helping us came and we kind of discussed like our prices that we were willing to go to and when she should talk to us kind of a thing because she was saying we she doesn't want to talk to me if she doesn't have to and the more that we're like whispering back and forth, people are gonna be like, oh, they're running out of money. Uh, so the more that she can just like raise her hand, raise her hand, raise her hand, raise her hand, it makes it look like we have a lot of money to the other buyers. Well, we didn't even need that because there were five other bidders in the room 
and one of them was very loud. <laughs> he was an agent as well, and uh, the bidding started, and it did not stop. So we had a price that the agent, the seller's agent, had said that the house was going to go for. So we're like, oh, yeah, that's not too bad. Like, we can totally have that. And then there will be some wiggle room uh, with our pre-approval from the bank. So we went in feeling very confident. Uh, it surpassed that price. The agent nor I bid on anything. We just sat there quietly. And I really tried not to react and hold my face. <laughs> but inside, I was like, ah! <laughs> Oh, uh, so the house ended up going for over $120,000 more than we thought it would, which is wild. And it went over 90000 more than it was valued, which also I'm like, oh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that because you go to sell it or something happens and then you're not going to be able to get the same value out of it because it's not valued for that much. I don't know. There's a million different things, but it was wild. The environment was wild and I just couldn't, couldn't believe it. Uh, and of course, like it is very transparent because you're seeing what everybody else is bidding, but compared to the US where you just submit your best offer, uh, people can get quite emotional. Like the agent leaned over to me because at some point, once they were reaching the top levels, uh, they were going up by only $500. So clearly they were reaching the top end of their budget. And um, she was like, that's an emotional bid because they really just want the house. So they're willing to use more and more and more and more and more money. She's like, you never want to do that because you want to stick to your budget kind of a thing rather than just spend and spend and spend and spend on a house because there will always be another house. Uh, but yeah, it was crazy to see it happen in real life. Uh, we had watched some prior auctions and then, like I said, I watched a couple in the room that same day and they did not happen like that. The house that we were going for had the most interest uh, out of the whole day. And of course, of course it did. Uh, just our luck. But we're still on the look for a house. And hopefully I'll have another update on a video of us getting a house. We'll see. But we are in our lease until January and we have a really great relationship with our current landlord so all else fails we will still be in our lovely house that gets incredible afternoon sun uh that keeps coming out from the clouds <laughs> uh until we find one we might ask if we can get a dog though right now they don't allow dogs but maybe if we ask because we really want a pug <laughs> all right well that's it. Just a little bit of an update from me. And this will be a fun one to look back on and be like, remember when we thought we could buy the first house that we wanted in New Zealand? Ah. Alrighty. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next time.